There are three tools your MSP absolutely need to function effectively. And those tools, I'm not gonna make you wait, are an RMM tool, a PSA tool, and a CRM tool. And I'm gonna cover all of that in today's video so you can be wildly successful with your MSP. And if you're already a seasoned MSP business owner, heck, you might learn something in this video as well just because I cover a lot in here. My name is Harrison Barron from growth-generators.com. We help MSPs grow, whether it's sales training, marketing, or business operations. Now, before I get into today's video, I do have to mention two quick things. One, if you wanna go grab some of our resources, feel free to head over to growth-generators.com forward slash resources, or if you just go to our main website, you'll find a bunch of stuff, including our masterclass, our downloadable worksheets, buyer personas, and truly so much more. And number two for this video is thank you to Super Ops for sponsoring this video. Now, if you are listening to the podcast, MSP Heroes, these videos are sometimes about a week delayed. Sorry, we are human. I work as fast as I possibly can. So bear with me if it's a little bit delayed over there. So let's talk about a couple different things here. We have the trifecta, right? We have the RMM tool, the PSA tool, and the CRM tool. Let's knock out the CRM because the CRM is something I talk about quite a bit. It is your customer relationship manager. It's where you're talking to customers and then they get to, you get to keep track of that. The conversations that you have, the leads, the opportunities, and honestly, so much more goes into that. But now we're left with two other parts of that pyramid, right? We have to talk about an RMM tool and a PSA tool. An RMM is a remote monitoring and management tool, and your PSA is your professional services automation tool. So let's talk about your PSA because it is really important. Both of those tools are the backbone of your MSP. They're gonna allow you to work, they're gonna allow you to get paid, and truly, they are going to be your lifeline for building your MSP. Yes, sales and marketing is super important with your CRM, but truly, if we're not delivering on the services that people pay us for, we're not gonna have clients pretty quickly. So it's important that we get this right right off the bat. So let's talk about a PSA tool. What is a PSA tool? And we're gonna be jumping into my computer and I'm gonna be giving you guys and showing you guys what these tools can actually do for your business. So first, a PSA, a professional services automation, can do a handful of different things. Number one, most importantly, it's going to be the ticketing system. Now, if you're a veteran of the IT world, you know, you get a ticket request to go fix a problem, you analyze that request, you go solve that request, you resolve the ticket, everything is good. That's the greatest scenario ever. I'm drastically oversimplifying that, but it's our way of tracking what we're actually doing. Next is going to be project management, billing to ultimately get paid, my fake money over here, and client communication. We might have to talk to clients through this process, whether we need them to power cycle a computer, we might need to adjust things, let them know that we're in the process of troubleshooting. And there's a whole slew of reasons we could reach out to the client, but we need to track it. If it's not tracked, what if another technician takes over that ticket or takes over that issue? They can't go through somebody else's email trying to find that issue, to try to find that resolution or what's going on. They need a central place to go look at that information. So now let's talk about a RMM tool because an RMM tool is just as important, but it kind of does the back end work, a remote monitoring and management tool. And this is the... I would say the back half of the your MSP, right? We have the front half, which is going to be that PSA, your RMM tool is going to be doing everything like monitoring, seeing what's going on in the systems, really anything that your PSA tool can't, right? And we as proactive, right, MSPs, we need to make sure that things are running smoothly, that updates are getting pushed, that machines are on and functioning. If there is an issue, getting alerted so we can be proactive and address those things. And truly an RMM tool does so much more than that. But we're gonna dive in because I don't think enough MSPs 
are leveraging their RMM tool and PSA tool enough. And I'm gonna provide a bunch of details along the way and explain, even if you're a veteran, how this all truly, truly works. So in here, I'm gonna go just jump to my home page, right? My home page is just as it sounds, right? This is my home page in here. And you could see, right, we have all alerts, high CPU usage, the process usage, the you know the tickets due today and this is a demo account i just pulled up a demo environment instead of me trying to build one and deploy one and actually find problems i'm not an msp right but you can see three endpoints 10 patches which is great we know that's that at least cybersecurity is at the forefront but more importantly down here and i love this home page we can see all tickets right shift key not working unable to log into erp application install slack for me i no longer have patience please fix all of these at our client for those of you that are a fan of the office dunder mifflin right this is truly kind of the home page per se where we can see what's going on in the business now more so than that right we're not just going to service one client this is a list of clients once again i'm in a trial account so i'm working with the data they've given me here but you can see at mentions hey let me know uh when i will get the phone right? It's important for them to, hey, that person, Joel Miller, wants to know when I'm going to mail out that phone or have my procurement team send out that phone. Now, more importantly, we could see our workspaces. So what's going on in Dunder Mifflin versus another client. And in here, we can see vendor reach out, right? Procure floor blueprint, on-site visit, check electrical needs, right? Maybe there needs to be another outlet or maybe another um, ethernet port on the wall, especially if they don't have a, you know, or maybe they need a POE switch, right? We can start to diagnose these. And it's gonna tell you the associated ticket in here, right? Help, internet is, um, is not working we can just extend that out i would normally have this on a much larger screen but i'm trying to fit this into a video here uh i do have my nice 49 inch monitor but we could see right status planned i am obviously the technician associated tickets and projects the client where it's all going scranton hq for my dunder mifflin fans the technician and all of that but we could see not only the tickets we could see my tasks the group tickets in here all of the tickets that are currently being, you know, currently happening all over the place, right? There's so much information. More importantly, if there's things that need to get done today, shift key not working and unable to log into ERP application, these are important. They're overdue. This is a clear indicator that we as MSPs are not pushing the ball forward anymore. We have problems that are, that are just problems. But with the appropriate tools, we now know giving our customers a significantly, significantly better experience overall. And that's really, really important as an MSP, right? We want to create raving fans. Any spam tickets I'm currently following, unassigned tickets. And there's a whole bunch that actually happens. Now, I did say before, right, a PSA tool has projects, right? In this case, it's a product onboarding, but we could do scheduling, right? We could schedule different things in here, or we could go through and see, hey, we have projects, my workspace, all of the projects that are currently happening, set up infrastructure. And we know, hey, check electrical needs, on-site visit, floor procurement, phase one, phase two, right? This is huge. So as projects begin to happen, and we have customers that say, hey, we want to pay you a bunch of money to fix these problems. We can actually see all of this happening in one place. And that's truly the most important thing. We need to we need a place to go through and do projects. But something else I mentioned before is billing. We need to get paid for billing. And we could see in here, we could see invoices that are currently happening. And I'm just gonna go over and check out invoices, right? We have a invoice currently for Dunder Mifflin for a thousand dollars. I could literally just click send invoice and boom, I can send that invoice. Or I can create a fresh one right here, bill two, right? Dunder Mifflin at Scranton HQ or their New York office, right? And I could go through and see the service catalog. Maybe it's a new laptop that is an absurdly cheap laptop, but hey, maybe we're just setting it up. Cybersecurity threat management, Office 365 suite, 
all of these, we can hit done and boom, it's going to be on there. Now we can hit save and send, right? This is truly kind of one of the best things that, that we need. We need to get paid in the MSP world, but this is not it. We can look at timesheets of what our, cl our, our clients are currently getting done for our, um, for our technicians, making sure that not only are we billing appropriately, but we also want to make sure that our clients or our, better yet, our technicians are doing the work that they're supposed to be doing. This is huge. And in here, they have a ton of different areas that you could go through from projects to tickets to tasks, assets, right? Let's take a look at assets here. We have Michael's desktop, desktop, Oscar's MacBook, Winslow's desktop, the serial number, right? The manufacturer who's actually made it, the model, the host name, the public IP address. I will zip this out a little further here, right? We can see all of the information that we would want to see to get the job done. That is truly one of the best parts about this is we now know what's going on. We need to create a new asset or download the agent. It's right there. This allows us, the agents basically go out and call back to the headquarters and say, hey, this is what's on their computer. This is currently what's happening. This is what you need to know about. And we can set up alerts to say, hey, if something is happening, if something's going on, we need to get the technicians or the team notified so we can then address it. Maybe it's a hard drive getting full. Maybe it's a failing computer. We need this because one, it's going to allow us to bill for these types of things. But two, we are a proactive IT company. That's why we are a managed service provider is because we are going out and being proactive in those areas. But there's honestly so many other areas that we can go into from scripts to network monitoring, which is pretty cool in here. And you'll see, I could go through and probe and look around if I needed to look around, quoting the dashboard, any additional widgets that I want to see, and IT documentation all in one place, right? I would have to build this, but over time, the best MSPs are consistently building documentation so that way they can have their technicians go through and look at and say, hey, this is what needs to be addressed or this is what doesn't need to be addressed. And that's some of the best parts about today's sponsor, which is SuperOps. SuperOps, in my opinion, now full transparency. I've been talking about them for a very, very long time. They reached out and said, hey, we love what you're doing. We'd love to sponsor a video. And I said, yes, please. I, it's a platform I truly, truly love. This was the fastest yes I probably could have said. What they're doing over there is truly, truly incredible, right? They step into the future. One of my absolute most favorite features, and by the way, the to the designer who built this thing, it is the best. You can see some of the platforms and tools you already know and love from Stripe to Halo, right? QuickBooks, Splashtop, Xero, uh, Hadoo, all built into the mobile app, IT documentation, all built around the RMM and PSA tool together, which is super ops. Remember in the beginning of the video, I said there are three parts to the triangle. We have the CRM, which you need to be able to track everything going on as far as clients coming in and out and you trying to close those deals. And then the RMM tool and the PSA tool. And the beautiful part about super ops, unlike many other platforms, it is combined. So you really only need one other platform to truly succeed as a, as a MSP. And I'll just cover some pricing because they are super transparent about their pricing. And it's honestly one of my favorite things other than their RMM tool, their PSA tool, project management, IT documentation, and a super slick mobile app. But you could go through and see all of the things that are in, I hate when people say all of the things, but truly everything that's included with each one of these packages. You can see a PSA tool or an RMM tool or we can unify them all. Or if you wanna go crazy for $159, you could get the super. And it shows you clear as day all of the, uh, everything that's included with this. It is a absolute steal. And in my opinion, one of, if not the best, 
I know that's a bold claim and somebody's going to come back at me for that, but I truly have yet to find something I don't love about super ops. And if you're a tech, if you're a techie like me, you probably have this beautiful never ending top part on Google Chrome. Well, now you also get that feature. And I say this so loving and endearingly, but I do love that I get to open up all these tabs because at the end of the day, I get to go through them all and make sure that I did the work that I needed instead of opening up a trillion tabs in Google Chrome. I know that I have one tab for my entire business, the entire backbone, the most important thing, and that's in super ops. So I encourage you to check it out. They do offer a 14 day trial. I appreciate the heck out of them for sponsoring today's video and their platform does so much more. I hope I held a candle to how powerful their platform really, really is a little spoiler. I've been hanging out with some MSPs recently outside of my office and they they truly, and I'm not kidding when I say this, if they're not on it, they are seriously considering it because they consider it to be the best platform. They're already just with another vendor and they are super excited to move because of how powerful it really is with a super sleek interface. They're like, we can't find anything wrong with it. I said, that's why they're sponsoring it because it is truly an amazing, amazing platform. I am so grateful that they decided to sponsor us. And if you wanna check out their website, superops.com, S-U-P-E-R-O-P-S.com. You can read all about them, get started for free, and I will leave a link down below. Basically, if you click that, they know, hey, I sent you there and I appreciate the heck out of you guys for going and checking that out. If you've made it this far in the video, like button, subscribe button, notification bell, but truly you do need three pieces to the puzzle to be successful. We already got rid of the CRM. That's a whole other platform, but to make your MSP succeed, tying it together, your RMM and PSA tool into one super tool that is super ops and i love them and if you go back you could see way before this video i've been mentioning them many of times over because i truly believe that they are the best tool in the industry and that's always subjective but that's my opinion love the heck out of you guys and i'll see you guys on the next video